people? Welcome back to another Eat More Veggies. All right, I am your host, Chef Ed Harris, and today we are continuing in our bread dough series. All right, today's part two, and um, let's jump into what we're doing. All right, so I preheated my oven at 450 degrees. Sorry, one second. Okay, so I also have my baking pan in the oven getting nice and hot it's been in there for i would say about 30 minutes which is what you need it to be and you can use either a dutch oven or you can use a baking pan with a lid dutch oven with a lid baking pan with a lid i have my dough now because we did this for 24 hours and i had it into the refrigerator what i did before our stream today is i took it out of the refrigerator and i had it in the oven so it will be nice and warm and the yeast can start to activate and actually help the dough rise. You definitely wanna make sure that your bread is at room temperature, um, your dough anyway. You want it to be at room temperature because you definitely want your dough to be um, at room temperature because cold dough does not rise very well. Room temperature dough is always the best way to go. All right, nice and lukewarm, you know, room temperature, that situation is always paramount when it comes to yeast especially all right because this is what we're using today we're using yeast leavening dough so i have a few things while that's going on i also did a second batch of dough because i wanted while this was going on at least you can see the crunch the texture the flakiness of the actual dough what inside is going to look like the spongeability of the actual dough so while we're getting all this going my second batch of dough is in the oven right now um, and it has probably maybe 10 minutes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish this up right now. I also pulled out some, um, you know, I pulled out some things that I would like to possibly eat the bread with when we take this hot bread out of the oven. I'm from the Caribbean and bread in the Caribbean is a big deal. And I love me some bread. Like you don't understand. I love, love bread. Once I get this dough into the oven, what's up, what's up? Once I get this dough into the oven, I will tell you what these sides are that we're going to, um, you know, use for our hot bread right out of the oven. Like there's nothing better than hot bread, nothing better. I have maybe two tablespoons of flour left in my Pillsbury dough bag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just lightly, I love doing this, it's like, this is fun, you know, just sprinkling flour all over the countertop. So we're gonna open up our beautifully wrapped bread dough that we made yesterday. So this has been 24 hours in the making and we're now coming to the final stage. So what we do is, is it gonna drop out? Maybe not. No, it won't because it's really sticky, but it will if you just, see? If you just give it some time. If your dough is not sticky and tacky like this, then something went wrong somewhere in the whole process of you making this. Lightly floured on the surface, and literally all we're doing is making a ball, right? You don't need to handle this too much, right? We're literally just forming a ball because of the kind of baking pan that we're gonna be baking this in. If it was a Dutch oven, round would be fine, but we're gonna do a slight log, right? Because our baking pans are slightly, they're like, they're kind of like squares. All right, so I'm gonna put this here. The other thing I wanted to do is you wanna take a piece of parchment paper like this, you know, something big enough that you can fit it inside of your pan. That's right on there, lightly floured on the top. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out, see when there's a lot of chefs in the kitchen, my equipment goes missing. You know, my daughter, she just made biscotti um, dough and it's chilling in the refrigerator right now. So she's waiting on me to finish this so she can bake our biscotti. And I have to say, they are actually really amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, while you're here, remember, click on the follow button. And for those of you watching right now, join me on the chef's table. Like, it's fun. This way you can ask me questions. You can see me, I can see you, you know, and you can ask me a question immediately and get an answer right away. So let's get our baking pan out of the oven because that is super important, all right? That's the next step right now. Here we go. This is my baking pan. Really nice. It's like super nonstick, which is awesome. 
So bread goes right in to a hot pan, just like that. And then we put the lid on as well. Now you wanna be very careful with this because everything is nice and hot, you know what I mean? Just be mindful of that when you're doing it, all right? But I love these pans because they're just really nifty, they're easy to work with, and they're just kinda of cool. But like I said, be very careful because this is super hot. So right into the oven. And this, we needed to bake for about 30 minutes. And the reason, one of, well, one of the reasons we have the lid on is because it helps create that amazing crust that we want and we love. It's gonna give it a nice thickness. And then I'd say 30 minutes, after 30 minutes is done, we would take the lid off and we let the top get nice and crispy, all right? And then develop color. And color is to your preference, all right? So you can leave it in for a longer period of time so it gets a darker crust, or you can leave it in for a short period of time. I'd say maybe eight to 10 minutes for a really nice golden crust. So now let's talk about the dip, all right? Or just what we're gonna eat this way because I have my knife ready to go. Like I said, I love, love, love fresh bread. In exhibit A, we have some caramelized apples. This is the filling that I used to make the apple squares that we had at the farmer's market, which sold out like in an hour. It was insane, sold out really quickly. That's what's in here. So it's apples, lemon, sweet finish. Sweet finish is this seasoning right here. Cause you're like, what is sweet finish? So sweet finish is this seasoning right here. All right, it has things like vanilla, sugar, cinnamon, star anise, nutmeg and cloves. All right, so really delicious. Perfect for apples. That gets cooked down with some brown sugar, caramelized real nice and slow, and that's what this is. Next up, right, this is like one of my favorite things when I am doing bread. So let me get a spoon. Olives, olive oil, and balsamic vinegar. Three things that I love so much. So next up, we're gonna go with some balsamic vinegar. All right, not a lot. I would say maybe one tablespoon because this stuff is pretty strong and you don't need a lot of it. And that's just regular balsamic vinegar, nothing fancy. And then we go with extra virgin olive oil. Sometimes I'll mix my extra virgin olive oil. I'll use some Meyer lemon olive oil as well. Yes. And then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of Tuscany. Oh my goodness. Whoo! Tutta bene. <laughs> no. <laughs> so this is it, all right? This is what I'm gonna be snacking on with the apples. You know, really fresh, really simple. If you want it to get fancy, we can get fancy. All right, we're gonna hit it with some Calabrian chili flakes. Don't, don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with me. Some Calabrian chili flakes. Just sprinkle that on top there like that. Look at this, right? Delicious. Now, we're gonna take our bread out of the oven. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is our final product. Gotta be very careful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Woo! So don't worry about the shape. None of that. Ideally, we're supposed to let this cool down, right? Um, completely before we slice it, but I don't wanna wait, you know? But we should wait. So maybe we'll slice just one slice off the back. Yes, you can come see the bread. Oh my goodness. Okay. Whoa. We're gonna leave that there. It's pretty. It is pretty, right? So. Hey guys. Okay, here you go. So I did Ooh. apple and I did olives, balsamic vinegar, some extra virgin EVO. EVO. First of all, I love the texture. Tell them, baby. It's you want sweet or savory first? Bounceability. <laughs> I learned that from Chef. Does it have bounceability? Okay, let's see. So the thing is about this type of bread, because there's no need and you're not developing a bunch of gluten. It's really nice, it's soft, it's doughy, but outside it's like crunchy, all right? So it's like the perfect mixture of crunchy on the outside, soft and chewy on the inside. 
Mm. Oh, you're going to town there, huh? Oh my gosh. You give me an olive. This is so good. Mm. I sh- oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Did you take it to the camera? Bzz. <laughs> Bzz. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's definitely. So, Chef, these are apples? Yep, those are the apples we got from the orchard oh, that we huh. picked last two weeks ago. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. It's not even fair. Balsamic vinegar with the extra virgin olive oil gives it a nice little sweetness. Oh, chef. So because of the lid, the crust got really nice and thick mm. and really crunchy, keeping the inside really soft. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Wow. Really quickly, hit me up with a emoji situation, mm. something. Let me know what you think. All right, remember to click on the follow button so that you can join me on Kitch for each and every uh, situation well, that we it. do. I never wanted bread so bad in my life. <laughs> yes, that's the goal. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Yes. Stay it's so tuned good. tomorrow. We are doing pie doughs. All right, the most flaky situation possible that can be 100% vegan will be shown to you tomorrow. All right, live demo. So make sure you join me. Jump on the chef's table. Tip me because you know this is a bomb recipe you're about to have. And let's keep it moving. All right. Until next time. You know why I'm still standing here, right? Yeah, because you want more. Boom, baby. That's that's the proof in the pudding. <laughs> that's the proof in the pudding. Thanks. Oh my goodness. It's not my Ooh. fault. It, it's so like. It's so good. It's so bouncy and it's like yes. solid bread. Like there's no preservatives. Oh my god. There's no nonsense in there. Mm. You know, and this is straight bread flour. Right, so you can do all purpose flour, you can do bread flour, it doesn't really matter, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, I wish you a oh, baby. So good. I'm gonna do <laughs> olive oil and apples. Oh, I was gonna do that too. Oh, I just dropped all of it. Mm. Oh, wow. Look, one Jane, just took my bread, man. She literally just took my bread <laughs> on camera. Everyone saw you, just so you know. I wish I wasn't on camera. Yep, they all saw you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. I can't stop eating. Bread is so good. Mm. Mm. Ciao.